Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and today we are playing Blaster Master Zero, which is a Metroidvania style game for the Nintendo Switch. For anybody that's not familiar, this is a game series that has been around since the original Nintendo, and it's been one of the most mind blowing experiences that was available on the original Nintendo. Very popular game. But unfortunately, after the original Blaster Master release on the NES, the franchise just has not been able to capitalize on the success that it had with that original game. Uh, despite being such a really good game, it just could not get over that hump. There is, of course, the infamous Blaster Master 2 on the Sega Genesis, which apparently tossed out most everything that made the original game great. And then, of course, Blaster Master Blasting again, which was a 3D attempt at the formula that just didn't pan out for most people, although I personally liked it a lot. So, we haven't had a game in the series for a very long time. It's been more than 15 years between that PlayStation 1 game and, of course, this game right here, which was one of the first games that came out on the Nintendo Switch. Blaster Master Zero is brought to us by Inti Creates, which... If you're familiar with like a lot of retro-inspired games like Azure Gunbolt Striker and uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night and all those games, you know, or not Ritual of the Night, Curse of the Moon, my apologies. If you're familiar with those kinds of games, you'll know exactly what to expect. You know, it's a company that makes these kinds of retro games and they typically do a very good job. They occasionally have their flubs here and there, like Mighty Number no. 9, which I personally didn't mind too much. I thought it was a fine game. So, with this particular game, being a Metroidvania, it's a very, very crowded category. And don't worry about that boss fight I had. This is literally the beginning of the game, so you're not missing anything. Although I do have a save that's obviously near the very end. I'm almost done with this game. I've got like maybe less than a half hour to go. Um, I'm pretty much at the end of the game. I'm pretty sure anyways. Unless there's like some kind of weird twist that's going to toss in to let me know that hey, yeah, you still got more to go. But I'm pretty sure I'm at the final areas of the game because I've got my tank more or less maxed out and all that good stuff. So. You know, for anybody that's played the original Blaster Master games, you might be kind of worried about the difficulty, because uh, the original Blaster Master game was infamous for being a pretty tough game like a lot of NES games. And, you know, maybe you're on the opposite end of the fence and you want the game to be super challenging. Well, this game's definitely a lot easier than the um, original Blaster Master. There's, there's some challenging segments. I'm not going to bat around on that, but it's not... Not that tough. It really is not that tough compared to the uh, original games. I think most people will do just fine uh, playing through this game. You know, it's, it's... I'd say it's a medium challenge, maybe. I guess that'd be a good way to put it. Um, and then, of course, you know, it's got some really good level designs. This first area, of course, is very reminiscent of the area that you have in the original game. This game, in a way acts like a remake, but it's not a remake at the same time. It's got a different storyline. It's got different stuff going on. Whoops. That uh, isn't just... Oh, we're just, we just decided to remake this game. <laughs> you know, but it does have some elements and thematics to that. So, you know, it, it, it's a good mishmash of a remake and just its own thing at the same time. I really dig that style. Of course, the graphical style... Makes me think 16-bit. Like, this is definitely more on the 16-bit spectrum. Uh, almost like this is a game we should have got on the uh, Sega Genesis as opposed to the actual Blaster Master 2 that we got, which uh, was not that great, unfortunately. It uh, got rid of a lot of that stuff that we enjoyed about it, and it replaced it with stuff that, eh, Like, it was all these segments, which these segments are fine, but it wasn't even done well. In that particular game. But let's go ahead and get back to Blaster Master Zero, the real subject of the story. So, is this a game that I would recommend to people that are new to these kinds of games altogether? Yes, I definitely would. Uh, this is a great game to get your feet wet in the series um, due to it having a lower level of difficulty compared to most of the Blaster Master games. But it's not like a cakewalk either you know like i said it's a it's a pretty steady challenge 
I think people will really dig this kind of game. Not to mention, you know, it's a Metroidvania. It does a really good job with that, with the elements behind that. You get upgrades for your tank that uh, really give you a lot of options to traverse through the world and, you know, get some good opportunities for some solid backtracking that just doesn't feel like, oh, we just put this in there just because, you know, just to piss the player off. You know, you don't really get lost in this game either. You know, and as a matter of fact, it'll tell you on the map as long as you have the map revealed exactly where to go. So, no troubles with that. You know, obviously, if you're an expert gamer, you're probably going to be disappointed by the lack of challenge. Uh, naturally, of course. So, that's something to keep in mind. But do bear in mind, of course, as well, this is a brand new Blaster Master game. We haven't had one in forever. And so, this deserves your support. Uh, this is a game that I wish I would have played sooner on the uh, Nintendo Switch back in the day, but I was so enamored with Zelda Breath of the Wild and Mario Kart 8, and, you know, I just, I never really gave it the time of day that it deserved, uh, which is definitely did. And now they've got Blaster Master Zero 2, which uh, kind of builds upon this one, which I definitely hope to be checking out very soon. Um... But uh, the original Blaster Master Zero, guys, I I'm telling you, you guys got to give this game a chance. This game is fantastic. Uh, if you're into the Blaster Master franchise or if you're brand new, but you like Metroidvania games, I think you really will dig this game. Um, just really high quality design. You know, the retro aesthetics, the chip tunes are fantastic, of course, as you can tell. Um, it's just, just, just rock solid stuff. I can't say enough about it. To be honest, you know, and I hope to get through it pretty soon. I'm just playing this beginning area, so I don't spoil anything or whatever, because obviously I'm at the end of the game, more or less. But uh, let me know what you guys think. If you played Blaster Master Zero, what what your thoughts are on it? If you kind of agree with what I think, or if you got some other things to say. And um, you know, till then, down Phoenix out. <laughs>